iPhone 6 and Samsung Galaxy S5 rumors hint to a bezel-less display with a fingerprint scanner. Samsung begins teasing its unpacked event for MWC 2014, and Microsoft Windows Phone 8.1 SDK reveals a huge list of improvements. I'm Jaime Rivera, and if a spaceship is traveling at the speed of light, uh, will it need its headlights? This is Parker Now Daily. Let's start today off with some official news as Google has just updated their Google search application for Android and it brings some significant improvements. First of all, and probably the best one is the fact that it now can pinpoint who your family members are, meaning once you tell it what your sister and your mother and your wife are eventually, you'll just have to tell it to text your wife instead of having to specifically say the name of the person. You currently see this in Siri, but just like in Google search, you will have to teach Siri, which is your sister. So it's pretty much the same functionality. It's just great to to see that Google search keeps evolving, especially when we expect Cortana to probably bring something more innovative to Windows. Now let's talk about the HTC M8, one of the most anticipated devices of the year, which is the successor to the M7, which is the one. We get the first leaked photograph of the phone, and uh, even though it does look a lot like the HTC One, there are some refinements in the borders of the phone, also in the top and the bottom, and we do see that the hardware buttons are gone, so we're expecting for this phone to be announced very soon. We're dreaming for an MWC announcement, but stay tuned, we'll see about that. And speaking of MWC, one company that has been gun teasing their event is Samsung, though this is kind of interesting. We were expecting for the Galaxy S5 to be announced at this event because we do see a number 5 over the unpacked in text, but uh, as we see this teaser, we see a lot of elements from the TouchWiz UI, but not necessarily a phone. We don't see a teaser for a phone, so if you think about it, it seems that TouchWiz is currently on version 4.0, so could this be that all we're getting is the announcement of version 5.0 at MWC and not really the Galaxy CS5. Um, hopefully we will be getting more than just a new version of TouchWiz. Now let's talk about Apple and Samsung on the same news, and this is actually not about them on a lawsuit. This is really interesting. The Korean Times is reporting that apparently the next generation iPhone and the next generation Galaxy S5 will both include a bezel-less display that's capable of fingerprint scanning. At least in the lower portion of the display as the technology is not really there yet. And uh, it's really interesting. We don't really understand why uh, we are getting this teaser of two different phones that are competing that'll bring the same technologies. Now, obviously, if Apple wants to make the iPhone 6 be one-handed friendly and also be bigger, then with no bezels on the display is the best way to go. But uh, obviously, stay tuned. This is going to be really interesting as both competing phones doing the same thing. We have seen Samsung doing a lot of better work in this department, but we'll see. And finally, for the hot news of the day, as the Windows Phone 8.1 SDK was seeded to developers, yeah, we've got a ton of leaks, a lot of screenshots, of what to expect, and man, this is probably one of the biggest revamps of Windows Phone in years. And the reason why is because we get Action Center, we get Windows Phone applications merging with Windows RT in a way. We're getting a lot of stuff, lots of changes. Again, links in the description. The list is just so big that I would spend pretty much a long time trying to explain this, and I only get three minutes on this video, but that leads me to the question of the day. Again, please read the article in the links in the description and tell us, out of all these changes, would this make you buy a Windows Phone in 2014 because uh, in my particular case I am quite excited. This pretty much brings Windows Phone on par with Android and iOS and I am really expecting for this to launch soon but it will depend on Microsoft. But leave us a comment down below would you buy Windows Phone after all these changes? And friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.